Hi and welcome back to Quinoa Pot Creations tutorial videos. Today I'll be demonstrating how to make my beaded moccasin earrings. We'll be using the nylon Nymo thread size zero, the John James sharp beading needles size 12, and the Charlotte cut beads in the fire colors size 13. I will show you how to do the beadwork on the moccasin and the assembly of the earring. They're quick and easy. They're real nice and cute. And they, the design will be with the fire colors, black, red, orange, and yellow. I just changed out the background color to solve the color when I make several. I'll be using some soft leather. Makes it easier to cut, easier to sew and easier to bead. Some templates that I created just for these moccasins. And I cut out the leather templates. And I have beading uh, earring wires. When I start the beadwork, I kind of start where I want the toe of the moccasin to be. I have it marked on my template, but I kind of like to eyeball it see where it goes. The first row will be a solid row of 10 beads to start the base of the beadwork on the toe. I use, uh, we'll be using one needle to sew down that row every two beads all the way across. The uh, moccasin's kind of small, so it's a little too small to be trying to use the two needle method. Much easier with just the one needle. And sew down every two beads all the way across. Second row will begin the descending of the beads because you'll need to taper down. To the toe area. So the first row is 10 beads, the second row will be 9, the third row will be 9, and then it will descend from 7, 5, and 3. And just making that triangle design as you go along. And just tacking it down every two beads just so it's nice and tight on the toe. Working that little triangle design in there. And you know, the seven, five, and three. Tacking it down. And we tie it off. Snip the thread. And there you have the beadwork on the toe area of your earring. Then you'll need to do the sides um, of the, I'm going to go down the side to create the side of the moccasin. When I start the sides, I put my needle on the outer edge as far out as I can and work my way in with four beads at a time, working in that little simple design with the fire colors. And the, sec the other side, I will go on the outer edge and work my way in. There, four beads at a time. And it gives enough area in the middle for me to cut right down the middle. And it gives you your slot in the middle for the fold over, wrong sides together, and you will do an overlap of three rows to close that gap up. Attach it on the top, and 
the four beads will just fit right over. Three rows of four beads to overlap stitch. Closes it up real nice. And it looks real good. Just overlap. And where you come out with overlapping your that's where you will attach the sole of the earring you're just going to lay the sole right onto the beadwork and do a running stitch all the way around the outside edge of the earring just attaching the sole to the beadwork. The nylon thread is real thin so you can hardly even see it. When you end up you will come back out right next to the middle row four beads that are overlapping and that's where you'll make your loop and you'll go in on the other side where that middle row is with your Solid color, black, red, orange, yellow, orange, red, black, solid color to create the loop. I go back through just to reinforce it. Come out in between the leather and the beadwork so I can push my knot down in there so you can't see it. Snip it off clean and attach the earring wire. There's a gap in my earring wire, so I just slide the beads, the loop on, and the string goes right into the gap. And I close the gap with some pliers, and it's all done. And there's your beaded moccasin earrings. I made some kits up. There's enough supplies in the kit to do one pair of earrings, and that includes the templates and the leather. If you're interested in a kit, they're $10. I have them on my website, quinwellpodcreations.com, or you can email me at quinwellpodcreations at gmail.com. I also have the pictures, pro the process and pictures that I can email you. So let me know if you need anything. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, like, share, su subscribe.